got two which one? Oh. Psych. Oh snap. What's the deal, y'all? Martilio, it's your boy Josh Hart. Come to y'all with another banger video. And we have made it to Matrix. We have taken a baby AMG up here to No Limit in LA. So you guys know what happened in one of the videos, the last video. The Huracan is completely skidoo. Not completely, but who wants to drive for three breaks? So we are at No Limit, and we're gonna figure this out. Monterey is coming up. We might go. If we're going, we really want the Huracan up there. Do they have brake pads too? Alright, we got a price for that. I was actually calling today, I uh, wanted to get uh, a pricing on some rear rotors. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, the catalog is three special two lights and whatnot, but um, I think it's like, I don't know, dude, it's kind of down right now. I okay. Everything you found out, my bad. I was on the business call. Brian figured everything out. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Got your rotors. Some rotary rotors today. What is, we're at 1.48 p.m. I get your rotors in. So I place order today. I'll get them here Thursday. So we're looking at rotor set. We're looking at $14.95. We got your pads. Got them for a good price for also for $4.90. You can get us a little bit on the shipping. Uh, shipping we got for 182, mm -hmm. and then labor, you know we got you. Oh so. yeah, already right, you know, man. Need anything? Come up to No Limit Auto Body. We are here in Studio City. No Limit about to get me right, but this is another thing to y'all. If I didn't need rotors, this all would probably be like a thousand something. Don't be lazy and be like, oh my brakes are good, and then you hear the squeaking bad. Don't be lazy, cause me when it comes to stuff like that, I'm lazy. That I gotta pay the consequence of more money, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Take your consequences to your chin. It's all part of the game. You know the grind don't stop till the casket drops. So we're gonna keep going anyway. We ain't gonna let it bring us down, saying so squad, because no limit got us. So why would we be down about it anyway? We gonna get that situated. Only thing is the car won't be able to go to Monterey. Anyways, before I get out of here, no limit is obviously busy. I mean like look at everything they have they have this here everything they are packed here like I always say anything you need here at no limit they are a collision shop so they do collision even have their own paint booth so if you need your car painted you get snickerdoodle like this Tesla or I thought this was the scat pack but the scat is back there this is a Hemi I believe so Hemi right here he's getting work done as well if you need anything, make sure you hit up No Limit Auto Body, No Limit West Coast on Instagram, and they will take care of you. Make sure you say you Saints Squad, then you get the special privilege. They have this G Wagon out here in the cut, and it's saddened. This boy is hard. I am not gonna tell a fit. Look at the wheels on there. I like this. I like those type of wheels on something like this. Or even a S580 or a Maybach could you pull these rims off too. Nothing else. This is like old school but still new. What do y'all think about this? Comment down below, let me know. But anyways, we're gonna hop in my baby AMG and we're gonna hit the road. We gotta escape the Matrix, champ. It's about to be two o'clock. I'm scared of rush hour. We gotta escape. No fake. So we are gonna bring the Huracan up here to No Limit on Thursday or Wednesday. You know it's one of those things where it's like, oh, you gotta get maintenance done. And you know, it, you, when you think about it, it's like you spending money without seeing where the money going. This time I'm spending money, but I'm gonna notice like the brakes not squeaking and grinding. Like, they will still work good, especially my fronts, because my fronts are new. Back is like squeaking, grinding. It's kind of embarrassing when you pull up. So, that a change. So, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Y'all know what I'm saying, though? Hour and 15 back. Okay, that's not too bad, because sometimes we'll be hitting like hour 30, sometimes even two hours. All right, we got to escape, champ. Tomorrow. Hop into the Dior Izzles, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let me show y'all the fit for today. Though. I've been wearing a lot more, like, just like straight on black, like black tees type beat. You know, for some reason, I've just been doing a straight plain black tee. You know, you can throw a little chain on there too. You know what I'm saying? Add a little pizzazz. You know, just do the shorts for the culture. You know, throw the Dior's on for the culture as well. But you just put the, grab this, put the put the Lou, Lou A bag on. Let me put it on with y'all, champ. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just fit fit through there with me as well. Girl, ever seen this rug? She has to abide by the rules and turn to here. Jason experience. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, sometimes you can't listen to music in the morning, man. You gotta listen to that motivation, get your head right type beat, you know what I'm saying? You know, but you won't. Baby girl, I put you won't. Got the fast thing sitting right here. Terracon is still down. The parts arrived at no limit tomorrow, so we'll take this thing up to LA. Let me update y'all. If you didn't know, brakes, rubber metal, rotor is demolished through ski. 
no Lucy. You know what I'm saying? Drive it. It has been a couple days since I started this thing, actually. So cold start. Cool cold start. It's been a couple days. Gotta let it run a little bit, you know. Probably the healthiest cold start this car has had in a while. It's been having healthy ones lately. Remember we had the misfire issue? I think I drove it hard enough to where all that carbon deposit got off the head. The brakes is messed up. It can still drive, but we're not gonna drive it like that and just grind every light. No, we're not gonna do that. So we gonna hop in the baby AMG. Right now, I am on the way to a meeting. Cause you know that grind I'll stop to the casket drop, right? So we got some stuff to go over. Big project coming soon. I told you guys this before in one of the last videos, we have a group channel coming. Everything is gonna find a line. We are about to make a ripple and space time influencer youtuber Instagrammer only fans girls everything seems set in stone We just gonna bam pop it in the way in the first video Well, we doing a trailer video then the first video both of those is gonna be over a million views type of bangers You know what I'm saying? So stay tuned for that. So I got a meeting on that I posted this on my Instagram follow me on Instagram at just right with two T so you don't miss out Q&A for the video So while we wait for the questions to roll in, let me show you guys the beauty of life This is the, the making of. It's gonna be six months down the road. We're coming back to this video and we're gonna see how far we can. Welcome back after you've seen what life is really like in paradise. Uh, be around where you wanna be. That's the number one thing in life. So your own mind creates your own reality. Y'all gotta remember that. So I asked on my Instagram, what's some questions y'all got for me? You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna make this a tiny little Q&A video type beat. The hurricane is down. We're gonna figure all that out. We gotta take it to the limit tomorrow anyways. We're gonna figure everything out. I asked, what's some questions y'all got for me? What do y'all want to learn? What do y'all want to know? I feel like I haven't done a Q&A and years so first one i want to avoid the nine to five life but don't know where to start what should i do now i'm 17. what do you want to do in life brother all you have to do is figure out now how you can make 25 dollars a day that'll grow and then that'll snowball effect into something even greater so figure that out now what can you do now that will make you 25 dollars a day at least maybe 50 dollars a day Work on that and now keep growing and growing and growing. So start there. What are some downfalls about being a influencer? I think some downfalls for people who is not made for it and they just kind of stumble across it is just being super known and everyone knowing them. But me, I don't really see any downfalls. I feel like I have a bigger purpose in life where I want to motivate people and I know what that comes with. So I'm prepared for that and I already know what to do with that with people coming up to me and noticing me all the time. I love it because it lets me know that I'm working hard and my hard work is paying off and people are listening and I'm changing people's lives. One person at a time so I'm really appreciative of that so that what I just said will probably be a downfall for most people but for me I love when you guys come up to me and ask for pictures and all that stuff I really do because that just means I'm changing someone's life one time one day one video at a time and I really appreciate that and that's what I want to do at the end of the day is be a positive impact and change people's lives so I don't really see any downfalls to it twin turbo hurricane nah I don't want to go to a turbo just because I like how loud it is in a like I, I love how loud my car is with twin turbos it's gonna sound sweet and it's gonna be fast but it's gonna quiet it down I just like the NA sound so I don't know maybe I might change my mind one day but for now what happened to your 720s did you sell it? Also, future plans for the Huracan. What happened to the 720 was that was the thing I was doing with Newport Drip and now the 720 I was supposed to keep doing videos with it, right? And people kept crashing it, like the radiators crashed, the engine blew up and all this stuff with the 720. I have no idea where it is now, champ. That's what I'm gonna say. My next McLaren, mine actually is gonna be a 765LT, so stay tuned for that for a McLaren to come back to the channel. And my future plans for the Huracan. I wanna wide body the Huracan, but for now we're gonna focus on getting my brakes fixed and hopefully next big thing is my windshield because all them rocks look bad on there but next plans i really for the v2 build i want to do a more calm but still fire wrap so it's more like you know what i'm saying and i want to do a wide body so those are the next plans for the hurricane that i plan and we're going to do that with no limit as well so stay tuned for that why don't you trade the amg for an f80 or g80 that's doing too much right now i am i got to get rid of big amg first before i can even think about doing that and then i'm kind of i think i'm upside down on the baby amg so i don't know i just gotta figure all that stuff out before i think about doing that you know what i'm saying for the big amg i'll have an update on that coming pretty soon which is tragic like i said before but 
It'll come, don't trip. Dream car, I don't think I really have a dream car where it's like, man, put it on the wall, I'ma get that. But I do want a Koenigsegg, you know what I'm saying? Like ultimate like car that I'ma get is a Koenigsegg, hypercar level type status, but I don't think that's a dream car because I could be fine with a Centenario, you know what I'm saying? But I still wanna get a Koenigsegg, just to, that's my goal. So I guess we could say dream car is a Koenigsegg which I will attain one day, you know what I'm saying? Give me by 27 years old, you know? What is the key element to success? The key element to success is to keep going no matter how hard it gets. One thing I learned from the stock market because I suck at the stock market is you never lose until you quit. I lost about $200 because I pulled out, right? I was like, skip this. But then it went back up, I would have made maybe $100. So you only lose when you quit, so don't quit and stay consistent. What's your favorite sounding car? Aventador. Straight pipe the Aventador, V12. What's the best way to grow your network? Figure out the field that you're in, right? So let's say you like cars and everything. The best thing about cars is cars brings every single person together. You can have the super rich and you can have a dude in the hood. They both love cars. One builds his cars in the garage. One got a whole facility with mechanics and stuff that do their cars. You go to an event and you meet that person there. The best way to network is, if you want more, just get my monthly mentorship program or my blow up on YouTube course. Or, yeah, link in the description, but if you want the monthly mentorship program where I teach you all of that one-on-one -on -one time exclusively, hit me up on Instagram, Josh Durant with two T's, or hit me in an email, which is in the description, and I'll really get deep and teach you into that. But it's about where you are, you have to be at the right place at the right time, and that's how you grow your network. But don't be too shy to speak out as well. When will you come to Atlanta? I haven't been in Atlanta in so long, I need to come back. I miss Atlanta. Y'all know it used to be a time I was in Atlanta like once a month, dude. Like it was crazy. I haven't been in a minute, but I'm gonna be back soon, y'all. I know Atlanta missed me, man. I know I gotta touch back down. I'll be back, don't trip. What are three things you stand on the most for success? Hard work, staying consistent, don't have no fear. You know what I'm saying? The thing about fear is a lot of people are scared to spend money, but you have to spend money to make money. You can't have no financial fears. You gotta learn to invest into yourself. If you see that something is gonna work out for you in the long run for content or anything, you just gotta spend that money. It don't matter if you be broke. You gotta deal with it. Every successful person that started from the bottom was broke at one point in time because they're investing into their business. And a lot of business people, a lot of rich people aren't scared to spend money, aren't scared to go broke for an investment. So keep that in mind. If they're not scared, why should you be scared? You know, and they have way more to lose than you would at this point in life. Those three things, stick to it and you'll go far. How you do it, champ? Hard work, dedication, champ. That's all it is. When did you realize YouTube was your thing? When I started? Or when I quit my job to do YouTube full time, I was like, yeah, I gotta make this work, you know what I'm saying? So that's when that happened. If y'all want a story time of when I quit my job to actually do YouTube, I explained this before, but I can re-explain it. Comment down below and let me know. How do I build better credit? I can teach you everything, link in the description to my State University Summer School. I got the Credit Method book on there, and that teaches you everything to build credit. But what I will, I'll give y'all some free game right now. The free game is, right, don't stress about the 30% rule. That, that don't even count, champ. That don't count. Don't stress about it. Make sure you make your payments on time. Make sure you pay good amounts and you'll be good, but I'll teach you more. Link in the description. I can't give y'all too much because I say too much, y'all gonna understand the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a system. It's like a simulation. It's like a game. I got the cheat code on my credit method book. That's where the cheat code is. But you know what I'm saying? On GTA, if you want to get a billion dollars on GTA, you got to pay a little bit. But you got to invest into yourself for what you want, you know? And this is the right, right investment. The best thing you can do is invest into your knowledge and you learn everything. You can conquer the whole world as long as you're smart. So I got that link in the description as well. What's some advice for upcoming YouTubers? Some advice I can say for upcoming YouTubers is stay consistent. I mean, everything is simple. What I learned in life is life is more simple than it seems. A lot of people put all these difficulties in life when it's really not that difficult. The best thing with upcoming YouTubers is stay consistent. It doesn't matter how long it takes. And yes, it'll take long. It took me two and a half years to actually start gaining traction, really. In two and a half years, I only gained 3,000 subscribers. Now that's wild. I stay consistent the whole time, uploading every other day. Yes, I uploaded every other day with no progress, but that's what made me who I am now, and that's I became to where I am now as well. So number one thing is stay consistent, bro. Just make banger videos. Make sure you have good thumbnails, good titles, get everything. And I can teach you more about that link in the description as well. My blow up a YouTube book. Yeah, I got some, I got the cheat codes life in there, Tam. Everything I did is all cheat codes. If you want it, go get the cheat code and message yourself. You missed the big daddy scat. Not really. I don't miss things in the past, but I do look at them and I appreciate them for where I came and how far they brought me, you know? Like the scat was cool. Like sometimes I sit there and think about life back then. It was, I was going through the hardship then, but 
It was also more simple. Like, imagine I didn't have to pay anything but a scat pack car note and some credit cards, bro. Thing compared to now, where it's just like, ugh. But we got big projects on the way. But thinking about that stuff now, that, I think that's the only thing I would miss from then. Not just the scat itself, but how simple it was and just to come up and everything. Like, everything is all about the journey, not the destination. Even though we're still on the journey, we still got so much more to go. But, yeah, when I think about it, that, yeah. I don't really miss the scat, but just miss the simple times, you know? It's just simple. I was in high school still, graduated high school, down with the Texas for the first time, and all that stuff. Just everything back then I miss, but not the car itself. Like, I wouldn't miss it to where it's like, dang, I want it back now. Like, I don't want it back now. I'm just happy that I did the giveaway on it, gave it to someone, and yada, yada. I don't know what happened to it, but it's gone. So, yeah, I don't really miss it. I say, I, I actually want to talk about this too. You know, I usually don't talk about this, but I want to talk about it this time. It's two from the same dude. They said, what happened to Cam and Cat? Why you didn't call Cam and Cat back, right? Okay, so we're gonna get into this. This is the last question. These two are the last questions we're gonna get into. First of all, I don't know what y'all talking about. All I seen was this video popped up on my live stream one time because you know, I'm still subscribed, still got the notes on, whatever. Support my brother, you know? So I seen it pop up. It said something about like, Josh Laurent said this and yada yada and all this, right? So we're going to look at this video together and truly understand what's the dilly on Martilio and what's going on. Because I seen a couple comments too. After you posted that, I seen a comment under my video like an hour later talking about why you ain't responding to Kevin Cat. I'm like, what are you talking about? So now I meant to, I was like, I'm going to speak on this. I'm going to watch the video that he posted and yada yada and all this stuff. So. We, we're gonna check this out. I'm gonna get my laptop. My responses to clear the assumptions up, I think is this one. Because this is recent and I'm in a thumbnail. So we're gonna watch this one. I tried to like go through it and find it earlier for y'all so we can make this quick. So. Okay, actually. Oh, so we got straight to it, right? So you found it. I was trying to go through so I could find it earlier for y'all. He started skipping through the video, then watched the ads. Help champ. Support a brother pockets, man. What well, if I get horsed? What if you start horsing? You can handle it. Oh, okay, it is. You know, one of the ones true warrior in life, you know? This is not for me, and I need to just, like, all over the place. You know what? Do good on the channel, so it's like, I'm just want to get laser focused in. So, whereas now it just feels like it's so all over the place. We need to get back. Game plan is done because I have completed every goal that I wanted. We'll say a year and a half ago, I wasn't really anyone out here in California. I'm going to tell you guys my goal. The only person who else knows my whole game plan that I had was Comic Cat. They just shot That's facts. Because I remember we were sitting there talking to each other like... Because we, we always like would go over like what we want to do, what's next and everything. I remember we were sitting there in the kitchen just talking like, this is what I want to do. Like... It was, it was, the vision was so clear in my head, it was crazy. Look at me now, man, you know, I really do this for real, you know what I'm saying? I, anything I see in my mind, I go out, conquer, and conquest. I'm, Alexander the Great conquered the world at 25, I'm 22 and I did what I wanted. Tell me I'm not the great, 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 grandson with the strong genes, you know? My brother, go watch his videos if you haven't already. Go subscribe to him, comment cat on YouTube. He's the only person who knows my whole game plan, my whole storyline that I have planned and I have conquered. And I'm the only person who knows. Shout out to my brother, go watch his video. Who else knows my whole game plan that I had? For you. I'm going to tell you guys my goal. The only person who else knows my... He sound confused. I'm getting hoarse. <laughs> whole game plan that I had was Comic Cat. Major hey, shout out to my brother. Go watch his videos. And already go subscribe to him, Comic Cat on YouTube. He's only who knows my whole game plan, my whole storyline that I have planned. <laughs> Champ keep pausing like he confused. I have conquered. Now I'm gonna just share. What you guys. So y'all heard that, bro. He said shout out to my brother Camel Cat. Uh, I'm the only one who knew his game plan. Uh, first of all, brother, y'all been like, oh yeah, I bet. But me and Josh do not talk, bro. Like, we don't talk, bro. Like, it is. We don't. It is like we just don't talk. But we don't talk. But it's always gonna be love there. Uh, the connection that we had, like when we was still doing video stuff. It was a real connection. That was, that's what it was. But we don't talk no more. So all y'all coming out of y'all bet. But we don't talk, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think we done grew apart, bro. He ain't kind of doing his thing. As y'all can see, he, he on his... 
Lamborghinis, you know, big boy type stuff. I'm still in the hood and the trenches with it, you know what I'm saying? Well, not in the trenches with it, because I can tell you I'm still in the, you know what I'm saying, the Mopar and still doing my thing, bro. But like I said, bro, like, it ain't no beef with me and Josh. I want y'all to know right now. Like, it's no beef. We see each other. We're going to talk, whether that's on camera, off camera. We had a car meet. They happen to be there. We'll talk. But I can't tell you, Josh, you didn't tell me back like an eight months ago, boy, when I asked your question, boy, so. What? He, I ain't even never get the text message. That brother stuff, I don't know about that twin. I ain't gonna lie, you didn't take me back though. I ain't holding mm -hmm. this. I ain't tripping on you. I go look right now. Hold on. I go look right now. I do not remember no text back, none of that. I don't even remember getting a message. I'm straight over you, straight over there, I'm pretty sure. And I'm just saying, like, you didn't take me back though for you to be saying, bro, don't kill me, it's crazy. I'm not gonna kill you down. You didn't. What message did I get? Take me back. But it's cool though, you feel me? It's cool. I had asked you a question. I had forgot what I had asked you. But I did test him when he had his rip. I did test him. I told him, um, I hope you straight. You know, stuff like that. He texted me when I got my supercar. But as far as just texting every day, me and Josh don't text every day. Bro. We ain't we ain't cool like that no more. We cordial though. We're not just like locked in and cool like we used to be. You feel me? Like we're not the nigga who I'm cool with every day, who I talk to every day. That's you two now, ABB. That's my brother right there, bro. Like, we talk, we, we do business together, we put money on together, we build something together, stuff like that. But me and Josh, we ain't beefing, we ain't, but it ain't no just, we ain't just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not like no everyday thing, but you know what I'm saying? I don't remember the text back thing, though. I'm about to go look right now. I want to, like, go look through my messages right now, you know? Oh. He did text you. <laughs> I'm not gonna show the question, but I didn't even see that. Like, this might sound like some BS, right? This might sound like some BS, but I swear I did not see that. You should text him back. I should text him back? Yeah. Like, text him back on camera, type heat. Sure, why not? Nah, that's gonna look like fake for YouTube. Then don't text him back on camera. I didn't see the message. It's probably too late. Hmm? When was it? Oh, this say Monday. This say October. This was in October. I swear I didn't see it. But my thing is, I just never see my text messages no more. I don't know why. It's been like that for over a year now. I don't know. I don't know. Get get the popping stuff. Just start moving. You just don't see stuff. I don't know. But I ain't, I ain't never seen that, man. You know what I'm saying? So a lot a lot of y'all was commenting under my video talking about you ain't. You ain't respond to camera cat. You ain't text it back, whatever. I ain't see that. And yeah, it's true. Lately, we haven't talked every day like how we used to and all that stuff. But what I say is when I do say that's my brother, it's really, like he said, it was a real connection. It was a real genuine connection. I believe that connection still ain't go nowhere like that. Of course, we don't talk every day, but I still got love for him at the end of the day. And if there's anything I could do, I would still do something for him at the end of the day. One of the realest people I was close with and I met. So that's why I still say that because I only talk how I feel and I talk to the maximum that I would do. And there's a lot for him I would do if I could. If he needed anything, I would do so, I would do what I could. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I still say that. And even though I am all the way out here on a whole different level type beat, I believe I'm still come back and make my way back to that side because I still gotta show people, you know. I've been I've been out here cooped up too long, you know, in in this little bubble of wherever I am. You know, I gotta come back. Even though I, I mean, I do go home and all that stuff, but I mean, I gotta come back out, just around, step out, you know what I'm saying? Come back, her kind of popping, lit, you know, one of the ones having, chilling, driving fast cars, you know? I gotta come back with the her kind of make a bam. Like, I went home, yeah, but I'm talking like, I need to hit Atlanta again. That, was, that used to be the second home, for real. I gotta hit Atlanta again, hit Texas, all that stuff, the her kind really come back and show the people. Oh, one of the ones back. The goat is back alive and the goat is back in town, you know? So, I, I was supposed to plan my cross country rally and I wanted to do that during this week so I can make the hurricane back to Michigan for the Woodward Dream Cruise, but Monterey is this weekend. Everyone's doing that. I want to do like a big group of friends, but they're all going to Monterey. I still don't know if I'm going to Monterey or not just because the hurricane it has to get its brakes done and that's going to be like a day and everyone's going to leave when I drop it off tomorrow. And yada yada. So I don't know if I'm going, especially this other project that we're working on, you know. So we're going to see. We're going to figure that out if I'm going to even go, even though they're leaving tomorrow. But probably not. We're just going to do this other stuff we've got planned, y'all. But yeah, basically that's what that's it. That's what it was. I explained myself and I explained why I do say that. And yeah, like you said, we whenever, if we ever see each other, whatever, out, 
because I'm gonna be back on that side. We'll talk, whatever, catch up. I don't know, on, off camera, I don't really know what it is, but that's literally from that side. And it's not a lot of people that I take like that, that I genuinely have like an actual connection with because at the end of the day, I believe like when it comes to like, I don't want to say random people, just but just like people in general, I'm very like hard shell. But of course, thanks for all, like y'all come up to me, y'all want to take a picture with me and all this stuff and everything. Like, of course, I love y'all, thanks for I wouldn't be here without y'all in the first place. But like, if it's like someone who genuinely wants to like sit there, be like friends with me, like, oh, we've been friends and all this stuff. I'm not like the nicest person to come off on that type of level. You know what I'm saying? I keep my circle small. I keep it tight. You know what I'm saying? Loose lips, sink ships. I don't want to be around that, you know? So... It's a real connection. Once I have that real connection, I feel like it never goes away unless someone like betrays me or any type of way, which Cameron Cass hasn't betrayed me, so I'll still do what I can for him. And that That's just what it is at the end of the day. That's just how I feel genuinely. And I just wanted to speak on that because I do get a lot of questions on this whole situation and this whole topic. You'll see us face to face one one day. When the time comes one day, whenever I do my cross country, because I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back with it. You know what I'm saying? Hurricane going to be, uh, big boy. Come back with some vengeance on it, you know what I'm saying? Make a statement when you hear it pull up, you know? I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, go down and smash that like button, then subscribe and turn on post notifications. Let me know what you think about this. Just comment down below, let me know. Next video, we'll head up to No Limit and figure out all the Huracan stuff and do all this stuff and just be lit and live life. <laughs>